I, I think one of the reasons we look at pain the way we do in America is that all of us have had pain, right? I had, I had a tooth filling, I had pain, right? And I just got through it, took some deep breaths, the pain went away, and I'm better now, right? Not a big deal, so why don't you do the same thing? You've got fibromyalgia, you've got trigeminal neurology, yeah, you just do the same thing as I did for, for, my, for my eye ache the, the time that I got a ball stuck, you know, it hit at me. Well, it's not the same. All the chemistry is off, the biology is different. If people could will their way through pain, of course they'd do it. Now, the fact is that pain is in the mind, but that doesn't mean it's not important. Everything is important when it changes the neurochemistry of the brain, when it changes the plasticity of how, of how we react to things that are occurring in our body. And so pain will actually manipulate and remold us in ways we don't want to be remolded. So for America to realize and wake up to the reality that 80 million of us have pain, chronic pain, that doesn't just get better because we try harder, will be hugely beneficial to the rest of us. Because you know what? Pain sufferers can teach us. Pain sufferers are the, two, are the true shamans. Pain sufferers are the people who have learned through hardship what truth really means, I mean, what's really going on in their lives, maybe even the reason for their existence. It takes us past the superficial level of existence that many of us stay at and gives us a deeper understanding of what suffering is all about. Suffering, of course, for me is not just feeling pain, but it's, it's, a, it's acknowledging that you don't control it all. And when you appreciate it at that level, you can share that with people around you that care about you and you care about them, you begin to change a lot of lives. And that happens best at, at, at an event like Pain Expo, where folks can get a little education, a, 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 little, a little bit of, of uh, emotion, and then get that cathartic process where they begin to ask, why do I have the pain? What does it do to me? How does it make me better? What can I do uh, to change my circumstance? And the solutions may come from the mind, by the way, but they're not going to come from just us trying harder. They're going to come because we understand our biology, we understand our spirituality, and we have a better appreciation of how the mind connects to the body.